All right, well, I was sitting here at my desk, uh, and thankfully I looked over at my tank, and I noticed that the Scarlet Baddies are up, or way up here at the top, like gasping for air. So that's uh, a telltale sign that you have way too much CO2 in the tank, and I had this thing way turned up. So uh, I ended up uh, shutting it off and pulling it out of the tank, and I've been working on getting the airflow uh, exchanging a little water, getting some more air, but uh, I'm glad I caught it uh, because that would have been very bad. Um, so yeah, that's one thing to be very, very careful of is uh, if you're using a pressurized system because they're a lot more powerful than DIY, although you can shut them off, so that is one good thing about them. So I'm going to keep an eye on these guys at least for the next uh, half hour or so because I've got to head out for my match tonight, but they should be good. Um, yeah, a little little scary for them, but uh, they'll, they'll bounce back, and uh, can't wait to have them back moving around again. They're, they're kind of like, what the hell is going on? But uh, they, they definitely seem a lot more active, even after even uh, just through the last couple minutes. I'd also like to take the time to point out that that back moss wall is growing in so thick. It's awesome. So uh, it's great to see. Anyway. Be careful with CO2. It, it can be dangerous for your fish, but it's also very beneficial. So, good things, bad things. It's definitely not too bad, especially if you keep an eye on it. So, cheers. Cheers.